We've all loved the sparkling sensation when we pour drinks that fizz in, but do we realize what's bubbling behind our glasses? Well, we found some surprising things about sparkling water that will make you spark some ideas about its boons and banes. Today, we'll talk about the myths behind sparkling water. Welcome to Advanced Mixology. First, let me ask you a question. Have you ever opened a can of sparkling water, read the nutrition facts, and been amazed at how much there is nothing in it? How can something with no calories, sugar, or other ingredients taste so good, and why does it cause so much controversy? Health fallacies abound when it comes to the nutritional benefits and risks of sparkling water. Is carbonated water causing your teeth to erode? What about your bones? Is it as hydrating for you as ordinary tap water? Sparkling water has had linear myths since then, but studies have turned these myths into something scientific. Studies have found that sparkling water has multifarious uses for individuals who consume it. Hence, these myths are no longer just myths, but already mighty benefits. Myth 1. Sparkling water is not as healthy as still water. Although regular water is calorie-free, sparkling water has other health benefits and is a good source of minerals, including sodium bicarbonate, potassium sulfate, and disodium phosphate. It can satisfy your soda cravings, which in turn help in weight management, improve digestion, and increase productivity due to caffeine. So, if you don't like the flatness of still water, you may find that sparkling water is the better option. Myth 2. Sparkling water does not hydrate as effectively as plain water. Even if carbonated water is considered the healthier substitute for soda, you might be surprised to learn that sparkling water is just as effective at hydrating your body as regular water. A registered dietitian and a spokeswoman for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, Melissa Majumder, said that, since water and carbonated water have the same base ingredient, they are in theory equally hydrating. Some people find having the bubbles or a flavor helps them drink more, while others feel full and bloated and may drink less with carbonated waters. Myth 3. Sparkling water can lead to dental decay. A study has shown that sparkling water can slightly damage the teeth's enamel, but soft drinks, sodas, or sugary drinks are 100 times more damaging. There's no doubt that sugar causes tooth decay. So if you care about your teeth, the best way to enjoy this carbonated beverage is by drinking unflavored variants. Unflavored sparkling water is what everyone calls seltzer. The fizz of the seltzer is just plain water with the bubbles added. This drink is also sodium-free. There are tons of popular unflavored sparkling water brands such as San Pellegrino, Polar, and Poland Spring. Myth 4. Sparkling water can cause stomach trouble. The bubbles in sparkling water can make you feel full, which causes bloating or burping. If that doesn't bother you, you can enjoy carbonated beverages without any problems. However, if you have a digestive disorder like acid reflux, you should drink it with caution, as carbonation may worsen its symptoms. If you want your sparkling drink to have a little more flavor, try making your flavor-infused water by adding herbs, fruits, or juices. Myth 5. Sparkling water affects your bone density. Unlike soft drinks or colas that contain a lot of phosphorus, which increases your risk for bone loss, carbonated water does not affect bone health. According to a study of 18 postmenopausal women who drank one liter of carbonated water for eight weeks, sparkling water promotes better calcium retention in the bones than plain mineral water. Here are a few things you need to remember when drinking sparkling water. Not all sparkling waters are created equal, so look for low-calorie and chemical-free options with no added sugar. The key to enjoying your sparkling water is moderation. Rinse your mouth with regular tap or bottled water after every drink of the fizzy kind to reduce its harmful effects on your teeth. Be mindful of your carbonation tolerance. Myths busted. According to Live Science, several studies have proven that sparkling water hydrates you just as effectively as still water, despite the fact that there isn't a lot of research on the subject and nutritionists tend to agree. This makes it obvious, given that carbonated water is simply ordinary water injected with carbon dioxide bubbles. 
So what about the idea that carbonated water causes your teeth and bone calcium to erode? The good news is that there is no evidence that consuming carbonated water affects your calcium levels. This misconception may have originated from a 2006 study that discovered that older women who consumed sugary sodas on a daily basis had somewhat poorer bone mineral density than women who did not. There were no comparable changes in density in women who drank plain carbonated water. On the other hand, the concept that carbonated water erodes tooth enamel has some validity. This is due to the carbonic acid, a result of water and carbon gas, that gives sparkling water its brilliant, slightly sour flavor. Carbonic acid has been shown in studies to have a modest erosive effect on your teeth over time. Citrus-flavored carbonated drinks, such as lime, lemon, and grapefruit, include minor amounts of citric acid on top of that, making them slightly more erosive. Also, you can drink sparkling water without causing any stomach problems if you do not have stomach-related illnesses that could worsen the symptoms if ever. But what really are the benefits of drinking sparkling water according to research? Well, these are some of the real benefits of drinking sparkling water. Number 1. Helps you hydrate. One benefit stands out above the rest, hydration. Sparkling water is just as hydrating as its non-fizzy counterpart, so if you're having trouble getting enough water during the day, switching a glass or two of still water for the fruity, fizzy stuff isn't a bad idea. But keep in mind that there are no added sweets. Number 2. Makes you feel full. Drinking sparkling water may cause a short-term, acute rise in satiety or fullness, according to Sullivan. Carbonated water, according to some studies, keeps you satisfied for longer and may even hold food in your stomach longer than ordinary water. Number 3. May relieve constipation. After two weeks of consuming sparkling water, persons who had constipation after a stroke reported great alleviation. In another study, people with indigestion discovered that drinking sparkling water helped them feel better. And number 4. Eases the transition to sugary drinks. If you're attempting to break a soda habit or cut back on regular lattes, sparkling water could be the key to breaking your bad habits. Herbs, fruit, and cucumber can all be used to enhance the flavor of sparkling water. It can be difficult to switch from sugary drinks to water, Sullivan says, but flavored seltzers and sparkling water can assist. Water is better than high-calorie, sugar-infused drinks, whether plain or carbonated. But of course, everything has its bad side. Now, here are the side effects of drinking sparkling water. There aren't many risks to worry about as long as you choose sugar-free, caffeine-free types. According to Sullivan, there is very little particular data suggesting that sparkling water has a deleterious influence on health. However, there are a few things to be aware of. Number 1. Stomach Issues if you're prone to stomach problems, sparkling water may cause the following temporary but uncomfortable side effects. Burping, bloating, gas, and stomach ache. If you notice that the carbonation bothers your stomach, reduce your intake of sparkling water and stick to still water. Number 2. Teeth Troubles Sparkling water may also contain minerals that can cause changes in your dental enamel, whether natural or injected during the carbonation process, Sullivan says. Anything containing citric acid, phosphorus, or sugar, all of which can contribute to enamel degradation, should be avoided. Regular seltzer, on the other hand, has been demonstrated to have no effect on enamel. And number three, keep your sparkling water is simple. Sparkling water may contain sugar, artificial sweeteners, caffeine, and other ingredients, Sullivan notes, but the ideal variety is just water and carbonation. Artificial sweeteners can cause gastrointestinal problems and are linked to heart disease, diabetes, obesity, and other chronic illnesses. Caffeine is generally safe in small amounts for healthy people, but there is no such thing as a safe quantity of caffeine intake for children. In other words, your sparkling water is merely water if it's not contaminated with anything else. Feel free to drink as much fizz as you like as long as you keep to the basics. Whether sparkling water is good or bad for you, there will always be myths in everything, so what you have to do is to research and be informed. Luckily, sparkling water is a great alternative to regular tap water and it has many of the same health benefits. It is also a good source of hydration and it can help you meet your daily water intake goals. 
Ultimately, choosing sparkling water over regular water is a great way to stay hydrated and refreshed without having to compromise on taste or convenience. To avoid its side effects, as most alcohol brands say, although sparkling water does not have alcohol content, always remember, drink moderately. So what do you think of the myths about sparkling water? Well, check out our featured video about the 10 best sparkling water brands that you might want to watch. These brands might go all along with your liquor party and cocktail essences, so try them now. Also, check out more of our featured content by visiting our channel. If you like this video, give this a thumbs up and subscribe to Advanced Mixology.